Sea is constantly dumping bodies, fears Libya flood death toll may hit 20,000. Here's a summary of the article. International aid is slowly starting to reach the devastated port city of Derna as an inquest starts into how as many as 20,000 people may have perished when Storm Daniel hit the northern coast of Libya on Saturday night. Whole families have been wiped out by the storm and with the remoteness of some villages and the rudimentary nature of municipal government it will take time for the death toll to be confirmed. The sea is constantly dumping dozens of bodies, said Hicham Abu Shkiwat, the Minister of Civil Aviation in the administration that runs eastern Libya, adding that reconstruction would cost billions of dollars. The International Organization for Migration in Libya said on Wednesday that at least 30,000 individuals were displaced in Derna, the town most affected by Storm Daniel. Aid is arriving from countries historically linked to Libya including Turkey, the United Arab Emirates and Egypt, where three days of mourning had been declared. Political infighting in Libya has already started on how Derna was so exposed to the damage caused by Storm Daniel. Speaking on the Libya Al Ara channel, he said, We dealt with the crisis without plans, and it is clear to the public what happened. We want everything to be done to the maximum and fastest, and now we do not have time to blame each other, and we must work as much as we can. None of us were exposed to what our people were exposed to in Derna, and it is natural for us to blame our institutions. This post received a score of 3,900, with an upvote ratio of 98%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Greater than the town of just over 100,000 people one-fifth of the population gone overnight? Was just looking at the before and after satellite pics. What a nightmare. Wow. Those images need to be seen. It looks like a place that exists because of flood deposits. Humans are quite good at building in areas we really shouldn't, and haven't learned yet. Apparently. Despite how many thousands of years of doing this over and over and expecting different results. This isn't a bad spot to build. In fact, given Libya's climate, this is actually a really ideal spot. Wadis are a great source of water in an otherwise arid land, and being right on the coast gives the economic benefits of a seaport. The problem is that the dam south of town which prevented seasonal floods from reaching the city broke. This is horrific. They already had two civil wars and now this. Dear God. I never thought I'm going to associate inundations with desert. And thousands of deaths and missing people. Poor Libyans were probably caught completely off guard. I hope most of the missing people are gonna be found alive. The unfortunate reality is that the people who will suffer the most from climate change did very little to contribute to it. Greater than Libya's National Meteorological Center said it issued early warnings for Storm Daniel, an extreme weather event, 72 hours before its occurrence and notified all governmental authorities by emails and through media, urging them to take preventive measures. Al Jazeera. Ten years of rainfalls poured within a day. 20,000. What the actual fuck? Fuck. Dude. I don't even have the words. Well definitely don't say something like, the sea was angry that day, my friends, like an old man trying to send back soup in a deli. That would be insensitive and unacceptable. This is only the beginning. Climate change will kill over 1 billion people. Scientists warn 1 billion people on track to die from climate change. The fossil fuel industry is on track to kill more people than Hitler, Stalin and Mao combined. That's right. The fossil fuel industry is more evil than those genocidal dictators combined. It's time to prosecute the leaders of the fossil fuel industry and force them to pay for all the damage they caused and all the climate change solutions. Other major cities under sea level threat: Jakarta, Indonesia, population 10 million; Dhaka, Bangladesh, population 22.4 million; Lagos, Nigeria, population 15.3 million; Bangkok, Thailand, population 9 million. Is an insane number. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.